The lockdown of valuable win on the road. Happy holidays, everyone. Welcome to our coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. And on tap tonight, it's the Los Angeles Clippers going up against the Toronto Raptors. Brian Anderson with you. Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill joining us tonight, along with the fourth member of our team, Allie LaForce. So let's take a look at the starters for the Toronto Raptors. Siakam is the four with Pirtle in the middle. OG Ananobi out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Barnes in at the small forward position. And for the Clippers, George and Kawhi, the talented forward pair. James Harden out there with Terrence Mann. And it's Zubats in at the center position. And a battle of the bigs tonight, Grant. Something we're seeing a little more of lately. And you know this league is a copycat league. And right now the trend is about teams looking for size and skill. Big guys who can pretty much do everything. That's the thing about the NBA. It's always adapting and always evolving. Now here's Harden. Six to shoot. Pass to George. Shoots over Barnes. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. You want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. Outside Schroeder. Here's Ananobi. Nine points in his last outing. Deflected! Here's Mann, covered by Pirtle. Mann, the pass to Harden. Here's Mann. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. This Clipper squad is quite the mix of players, Doris. Potentially the mix to make a run. I mean, certainly you need seasoned veterans that can still get it done and young guys who can contribute. They've got both of those things and incredible depth. For the Clippers, to me, it's about one thing. How healthy are your stars? I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. George, no good. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. Well, coaches love seeing this from Dennis Schroeder. Recognize the situation, find the open teammate. Here's man. Unable to get that one. Oh, nice D from Ananobi for Toronto. They've gone one for three so far. And about two minutes into the first quarter here. Right side, Schroeder. Back to Ananobi. That one falls, coming off Schroeder's feed. I'll tell you, it's six foot eight with the elite athleticism. Good luck checking OG Ananobi on the interior. Harden, the pass to Zubac. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That's on Jakob Pertl. All right, Grant, talking about Ibiza Zubac. What do you like most about his game? Well, just his defensive presence. I mean, he's willing to challenge shots at the rim, refusing to give anything easy. Shooting two. Free throw drops from Zubats. Well, Grant, one of the things that keep Raptors fans positive is the youth that's represented on this roster. Yeah, they've got a great core, B.A., and lots of young guys on this team. But they're missing a star. Yeah, probably, but they can be dangerous. Achua's checked in for Toronto. He 
He's off on the second. Well, Grant, when it comes to the Raptors rebounding, it's a tale of two stories. Yeah, B.A., and over the last couple of years, they've been terrific on the offensive boards and absolutely terrible on the defensive boards. It's something they're working to fix this season. Barnes, it's good. How quick with that shot off the catch was Scotty Barnes. My goodness, defense didn't have a chance to react. And here in the first, about three minutes in. Outside for Harden. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Now here's Ananobi. And it's Harden who pulls down the rebound. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Shoots over Ananobi. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Well, if it's James Harden taking the mid-range, I'm fine with it. This guy is a three-level scorer par excellence. Barnes in the post. George defending. Barnes, no good. And it's Leonard with the ball for the L.A. Clippers. They lead by four. And a fast break now for the Raptors. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. You know, we talk about length defensively. Siakam so long offensively. Trying to get a challenge on him. You are often going to put him at the line. First free throw is good. Boy, the evolution of Pascal Siakam has been such a pleasure to watch. The work ethic is commendable, and he's learning how to be a leader, guys. McDaniels is checked in for Toronto. Gary Trent Jr. comes in for Ananobi. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. You know, Grant, what's interesting about the Clippers, they play solid defense, even though they're not overly disruptive. Well, B.A., think about this. So many veterans, they know how to position themselves. They know where the help is coming from, too. And, of course, they know when to pick their spots. Toronto trailing. Here's McDaniels. Shoots over Westbrook. Collects the two points near the hoop. Smooth as silk, and given that height advantage, a relatively easy look. Powell against McDaniels. Blocked! 30 seconds left now in the first quarter. Bearing his second of three attempts. You know, it seemed to me they were shying away from a foul there. The D still has to be a little bit more physical than that. He's got to feel you. To the inside, Leonard. And the dunk by Leonard. Oh, boy, you love to see that kind of burst from Kawhi Leonard. What a finish. Schroeder against Westbrook. Outside McDaniels. Uneasy, too, on the layup. McDaniels got six points. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Leonard for three. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And that concludes a back-and-forth, high-scoring first quarter of play. It's the Raptors. They lead by two. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. already in this one but a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play you know you take a look at the Raptors performance here guys what are your thoughts well they came out with a physical presence and made rebounding a priority I think it's why they hold the lead here early because they're controlling the flow of the game with those second chance opportunities and we've heard some like Greg Popovich say that three-pointers are becoming too prevalent 
Doris, do you think they overwhelm other parts of the game? You know what? There is obviously a heavy emphasis on two things, three-point shooting and restricted area attempts. I think the feeling is the mid-range has been eliminated, but here's what I know, B.A., to win a playoff series, that mid-range game comes back into play. And again, I go back to the point that I have been consistent about. To me, the game is still in a great place. P.J. Tucker is out there with Norman Powell. Then it's James Harden. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And it's Zubats in at the five, down low. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Now here's Schroeder, still without a bucket. Trent outside. It's hauled in by the Clippers. This game against Toronto here, it's their first look at the Raptors. They didn't give up a single victory to this team last regular season, which went according to script. Here's Harden. Give him eight. Up top, Westbrook. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. Harden misses. The Raptors with a lead. Here's Dick, defended by Harden. Pirtle, the pass to Trent. Over Powell. No good from 18. And it's Powell with the ball for the L.A. Clippers. They've only given up two points this quarter. At the conclusion of this one, they're off to Oklahoma City where they'll face the Thunder. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. Pass to Westbrook. Shoots over Schroeder. They get it again. I'll tell you, everything went right in terms of execution. He just can't get it to go. Powell against Trent. Goes back up. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. To the middle. Here's Powell. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Powell's got his first points of the night. Well, it's Harden continuing to evolve as a playmaker. This guy, including his teammates, making them feel good. And Toronto calls time here. Yeah, Coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. So for the Clippers, Paul George, he's checked in for Powell. And it's Mann in for Westbrook. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Here's Dick. Right side Barnes. Shot clock at five. Outside Ananobi. Again, Toronto, no good. The Clippers in the lead. You know, over his career, Paul George has racked up more than his fair share of accolades, Grant. Well, he's a fixture at All-Star Weekend, that's for sure. Now, he's made the all-defensive team more than a few times. He's had an outstanding career. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, Brian, in his 10th season in the league, Mason Plumlee started shooting left-handed. He said, quote, it felt good changing, and the more I practice, it just shorted up my decision. It's about the result, and I'm happy I made the change. I don't even question it. And that's where I like to be. Brian? Well, it's working for him, whatever he's doing. Allie, good stuff there. Thank you. Here's Harden. After the basket by Toronto. Drives to the hoop. Pass to Zubats. Clock at four. 
Outside for Harden. Second chance shot. Goes up again. And Zubats with the lay-in. And the Clippers lead by one. You love to see Zubats get after it on the window. Use that size and strength. Dick, the pass to Barnes. Banked it in off the glass. Barnes has got his third basket on the night right there. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. Well, you have to respect the career of Paul George. Uh, he has faced, at one point, a career-ending injury. He keeps battling to get back on the floor through constant injury. Leonard's checked in for the Clippers. Highland comes in for Harden. He hits the second from the line. And so Ananobi will bring it up for Toronto. Outside Schroeder. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. McDaniels is checked in for Scotty Barnes. throw good Schroeder you know I think one of the important things for Dennis Schroeder is to keep trying to become more and more efficient let his offense come naturally and improve as a distributor now here's Highland still no points George left side gets it to drop now two of four and that's just nasty right there guys he has a tremendous crossover Stolen by Leonard. How about the defense of Pascal Siakam? This guy likes making it tough on the offensive player. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Raptors out in front, leading by a point. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. The first quarter for the Raptors was fairly even. They led by two after the first. They were outscored by just a bit in the second quarter as they go into the break now holding just a one-point advantage. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what'd you see out there? Most of the damage they're doing is in the paint. They've made a concerted effort to work the ball inside in the high position. And that could open up the perimeter for them in the second half with the D worried about the post game. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Clippers? Well, their reserves haven't contributed much. It's finally as your starters to have a effort, but will leave them out in cold. I think this could easily become a bigger issue as the game wears on. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Nice game. What a performance by James Harden. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. 
And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Check it out the group for Darko Rayakovich to start the second half. Barnes and Siakam in at the forward positions. Dennis Schroeder is out there with OG Ananobi. And it's Pirtle in at center. Outside Barnes. Five to shoot. Shoots over George. Kept alive. The shot by Pirtle, no good. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. Launches it, and it's Paul George with the three. George has got eight points. Uh, Paul George's shooting form is just so pretty. This guy's ability to make shots so easy. Siakam finds Ananobi. He takes it in, and so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. one falls for him. Boy, the athleticism of OG Ananobi can be eye-popping sometimes, guys. And what's happening now is he's developing on the offensive end. This guy's upside is absolutely tremendous. That one falls, so he hits both of them. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. Outside Harden. Pass to Zubats. And it's Toronto with a rebound. Pirtle's got his sixth rebound on the night. Outside Barnes. Ananobi. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Boy, that makes him 0 for 3 to start the second half. Not the start you were hoping for here. Boy, he's at the cup, but that is tremendous defense. Prohibit the lay-in without fouling. Now here's Siakam. And you look at his numbers, just over 21 a game. It's stolen by Leonard. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. He's off on the layup. Well, trying to find themselves in the second half here. Just one for four from the field. Can someone in the group get hot? Let's see. Here's Pirtle. Shot's blocked. How about Zubats? Works so hard on the defensive end. Nicely done. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Brian, the Clippers next season will inaugurate their futuristic new home court in Inglewood, designed to give fans every comfort, and the Clippers a distinct advantage as well. Along the baseline, 5,000 fans will fill 51 uninterrupted rows. The section, nicknamed The Wall, is acoustically designed to be loud. So, Brian, you better get ready. <laughs> Turn it up. Thanks, Alan. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. First one falls. James Harden brings tremendous versatility. He can score it. He can distribute. Whatever you need from him offensively, he can provide it. Norman Powell, he's checked in for the Clippers. Westbrook comes in for man. Harden hits them both. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Pass to Achua. Takes a three. No good there. And it's Westbrook with the ball for the Clippers. 
They've only allowed two points so far in the second half. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Trent with it. Westbrook with the rebound. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Barnes against Powell. Shot to stop the run. And good as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. You love how Scotty Barnes embraces the challenge of a contested shot. Don't back down, Scotty. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. For the Clippers, Tucker comes in for Leonard, and it's Highland in for Harden. And Toronto also making a switch. McDaniels is checked in for Scotty Barnes. Pass to Tucker. Here's Powell. Driving in. Shakes off strong D and gets to the bucket for two points. Powell's got his third bucket of the night. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? From 12 feet, and he nails the jumper. If you give Dennis Schroeder space, he is going to get into his mid-range game. Knocks down that one. Westbrook taking his time here. Zubat's shot is off. Toronto trailing. Inside, here's Achua. Down the pipe it goes. Schroeder with the assist. Schroeder's got four assists now tonight. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Now here's Westbrook. No made baskets yet. Here's Powell. Soft touch off the glass. And the Clippers lead by six. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Schroeder can't get it to go. Schroeder against Westbrook. Pass to Powell. And the Clippers again with a bucket. You've got to be able to manipulate pick and roll. Norman Powell taking what the defense gives him. That's really nice. The third quarter comes to a close. Clippers ahead. They're up by eight. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. Well, having multiple playmakers on the floor makes you a much tougher team to defend.
Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. George and Kawhi, the talented forward pair. Norman Powell out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Tucker in at the five spot. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Incredible wingspan. Unbelievable hands. The alley-oop is easy. And here are the Raptors now. Following the score by the Clippers. Kicks it out to Ananobi. It's Barnes on the wing. Shot clock at six. Here's Pirtle. And he converts the layup. Well, the hard work on the offensive glass pays off for Jakob Pirtle. Like to see that mindset from the big man. Goes back up strong as soon as he gets his hands on the basketball. Now here's Powell. Got a piece of it. Westbrook, the pass to Tucker. Oh, rejected by Pirtle. Very hard to get a shot off over Jakob Pirtle when he's that tight on you. Too much size, too much length. Well, the grimace of pain tells it all. He's hurt. Let's hope he's okay. Oh, man, that's tough. You just never like to see this in sports. You know, obviously something that, you know, every player fears. The NBA has made player safety a priority, but injuries continue to happen. Young, he's checked in for Toronto. Harden, he's checked in for Powell. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. I was able to listen in on what Darko Ryakovich was going over with his team. He was very upbeat and positive, saying to his guys, let's go, let's go. I want you guys to up the pace. Look to push the ball up the floor whenever you can. They cannot stop us in transition. Let's see how the team responds. Guys? Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Here's Harden, following the bucket by the Raptors. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. For Toronto, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. And here's Schroeder outside. It's good. And give the assist to Siakam. That's about all you can do on the defensive end. Schroeder making a hard shot look easy. Leonard on the wing. The jump hook. Leonard, so strong. Oh, what a crafty move causing the defender to pause right there. Siakam against Leonard. Siakam in the post. Over Leonard. Siakam, no good. Nice work defensively. Leading him up top and forcing the miss. Westbrook drives. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Now it's a seven-point Los Angeles lead. Leonard against Siakam. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors able to retain possession here. Man, he's checked in for the Clippers. And Toronto also making a switch. Uh, Chu has checked in. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Here's Siakam. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, this guy does such a tremendous job creating contact. Pascal Siakam, give him the up fake and draw the foul. Super two.
Cincinnati makes a first. And the Clippers making a change here. Zubox is checked in. Siakam hits them both. Well, consistency is so critical, especially in clutch moments. This guy has got that gene. Here's Mann. Pass to Harden. The three ball. Achua with a rebound. Achua's got four rebounds in the game. Up top, Siakam. Leonard defending. From 17. Here's Achua. That one is off. Oh, solid D from Leonard. Now here's George. That one no good. Outside Ananobi. Siakam in the post. Barnes passes to Achua. Outside Schroeder. Just five on the clock. From the elbow. It counts! And the foul! James Harden picks one up. Uh, Dennis Schroeder has proven historically he is unafraid in big moments, and he delivers big time. Russell Westbrook, he's checked in for James Harden. can be real backbreakers in a close game. Time called here. The Clippers decide to talk it over. They're on top by two. And we've got 118 left to play in the fourth. we present our New Balance player of the game, James Harden. And he's really had a tremendous night from the field. He's shooting at a clip over 50%. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's the kind of efficiency that makes a coach rest well at night. Now George. From behind the arc, hits the trifecta. And the Clippers lead by five. You can see Paul George is locked in right now. Big time shots demonstrate his elite level in the NBA. Here's Siakam. The rebound by Mann. The Clippers have gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Goes up at the strike. George's shot is good. Time out, time out. And it's a seven-point Clipper lead. Paul George just so fluid offensively. What a pretty move right there. And Toronto calls time here. They're down by seven. 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter here.
50 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And it's good. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Scotty Barnes with the big time delivery. Big spot, young man. Yes, sir. And an intentional foul right there. And now they decide to foul intentionally. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now for the second. Pretty incredible to think that Russell Westbrook made the triple-double somewhat routine. The ability to fill up a stat sheet like few others in the history of the game. Incredible, guys. And he's able to hit the second one. And that increases the lead to six. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Siakam. He can't get it to go. Ooh, solid D from Leonard. And that's an intentional foul. gets the first and that makes it a seven point lead second one is good getting both at the line and it's an eight point ball game eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock see Occam against Leonard the three from Barnes it's rebounded by Zubats. And so it's Westbrook who will bring it up for the L.A. Clippers. And so it's going to be a three-second violation there on the defense. That's good from George. Well, what a performer this guy is. Game is on the line. He stands up and delivers. Here's man. So it's the Clippers picking up the win. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor, and they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Time. Get well, home Paul, home. this team seems to be rounding into shape. What is your sense of the chemistry right now? Really good, really good, real beneficial. It's great that we was able to pick this one up. That's what it's about. We don't care if it's a blowout or if it's a close one. We need to learn how to do both. So uh, it's great. We were able to pick this up. Good quality team win. Good luck on continuing to build that chemistry. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Allie LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time.